Hi and welcome to this cool new blender tutorial. I'll show you how to make a lightsaber. We'll start out, well, as you might have guessed, by modeling the grip. This might be the hardest part, but it's really easy, trust me. You've got your default cube here. Nothing to worry about, just a cube. Press tab. Damn it. Press tab to go into edit mode. And now you see everything selected, so we're going to press A to deselect all. Now press the B key on your keyboard to go into box select mode. Yeah, okay, I was just thinking I was doing something wrong. No, never mind. Select two of these vertices. And now we're going to extrude that a little so we're, yeah, so we get a nice grip. If you press the E key on your keyboard, click on region or just press enter. And now I'm just going to extrude it five times into each direction. Extrude. And I'm always just typing for, I'm using E. Enter, and we're going to type 0.5 to extrude it for half of the length, half of a, half of one of these grid lengths here. I've got three, damn it, four, five. Okay, now we're going to press the A key, press the B key again, go into box select, and do the same on the other side. So we have the, the original square in the middle. 0.5, E, enter, 0.5. E enter point five. I only have one hand free, so I it's kind of hard using mouse and keyboard at the same time. So I'm just gonna stick to the keyboard. And one more. What? No. One two three four five. One two three four five. Okay. Already there. Good. Some. I think I pressed the wrong key or something. Never mind. Now we're gonna press the B key again and select the original cube. Now we're going to press the S key to scale this, but instead of scaling it to a small cube, we want to, well, shift Y, so it's just, it ignores the Y axis on scaling, it just takes the Z and X axis. And now we can scale it, let's say like this, now check if it did, perfect. Go back into the top view with the 7 on your numpad, that's what we started out with. Now, box, well, first press, hold on, first press A. To deselect all, go back to box select, and let's take these box select again, these vertices here, scale them, and shift Y to ignore the Y axis, only use X and Z, scale it down a little, A again, box select, these up here, and these down here, S, shift Y, scale them down a little. Now this might look quite weird as a model, but we're going to subsurf it to make it smoother and then set it to smooth and make it round and it's going to look okay. Trust me on this one. Now that one more thing we should do. I'm going to press the A key to deselect all because a lightsaber isn't just a lightsaber grip isn't just a stick that's there. It also has holes on each side. So we're going to press the B key again. It's like these vertices. Press extrude enter and yeah just point 0.5 again now scale the S and point 0.9 well, let's leave it at point 0.9 so it's just a little bit smaller and then we're going to push it down again so now we've got a, another face on that side that's just a little smaller you'll see what that uses in just a few moments to what use that is now go do the same on the other side B, select these, extrude, 0.5, scale, 0.9, and move these back in. Now, we're going to extrude this part again. The, you have these vertices still selected from this layer. Uh, from this, These vertices still selected down here. Now we move this in, let's say, up to here, maybe. No, damn it. Not up to there, just to there. That's enough. And then scale, shift Y, so it doesn't get out of the lightsaber and stays inside the lightsaber. Stick it right into there. You now see our lightsaber got a little hole. Well, you can make this deeper or let it go through all the way, but you're not going to see that later anyway, so I don't see the point in that. Now we're going to zoom in here. Hold on a sec, I got to pan up somehow with one hand, and that's somehow not possible. Had to put down the mic for a second. Now press B and select only these vertices from the inner one. You could have already scaled them, uh, extruded them in earlier, but 
it, which is recommendable if you're working on a more complicated mesh and you can't select them that easily. But here, I see no problem with selecting them now. Extrude, region, up to here, scale, shift Y, shift, scale, what's up? Oh, already did. Okay. Damn it, what why were these down there or on no, still selected? Oh, f oh damn it. Okay, I accidentally had the vertices down there still selected. Remember to press the A key there to deselect them. Now extrude these all the way down to here. Scale, shift Y, and scale them into here. Good. Our lightsaber grip has now got a hole. Press A key. Tab, just, just go out of edit mode into object mode. Grip has got a hole on each side. That's good. And remember, press the hold down the middle mouse button or the scroll wheel to uh, um, to move around like I'm doing right now. Now we have our object still selected. If not, right click on it. Go to add modifier in the um, editing panel. Add modifier. Now go up to subsurf. As you can see, our model already changed, and just change this up to. I'm going to change it to three. If your PC can't handle that, just let it. Just leave it at two. And over here, now just go and set smooth. We've got now. We've got a nice smooth lightsaber grip. This might not look the best. You can already still adjust it later. Still adjust it if you want. Just go back into edit mode with tab. Remove the subsurf modifier by clicking here, or just leave it there and edit your mesh by scaling parts of it if you want to. I'm not going to do that now because this is only for demonstration purposes, so I'm just going to leave it like that. So we've now got our grip. I'm going to go into top view again. You know what? I'm going to. I'm going to stay in top view. Zoom out. I want this to rotate a little, just with the 6 key on my numpad. Now I'm going to just click up here, Shift, S, Cursor, Grid, I just like to, I'm a perfectionist at that. <laughs> I just want my cursor to be somewhere exact, not somewhere in the landscape. Press Space, Add, damn it, price it doesn't matter, but I don't like it if it's selected. Mesh, Add, Space, Add, Mesh, Plane. Now we can zoom in on there. Pan there, the shift middle mouse button to pan. Select these all the vertices. Go into box select, select two of the vertices, press X and delete these vertices. So now we've got only got a simple line left. A to select them all. Well there's just two vertices. And now go down in here on subdivide in the mesh tools panel and press that a few times. And we can also scale our line up it has to be scaled anyway so we can scale it up now well I'm just scaling it to f 5 you could just type in a 5 and that would do it oh it's gonna have to be bigger later I can see now so we can just scale it a little farther okay now press the subdivide button a little until it looks like that now go into materials this is gonna be the the short line, the white line, the, to give it. Well, the lightsaber is never just one single color. It has the one color, and then it's so bright in the middle, so that it looks white. Now this is going to be the white. So we turn the color to white by dragging all these to the top. Click on Halo, then you always see this in the preview window. Then go to the Shaders panel. For the Halo size, we're going to put it on point three. The hardness is. Well, ah, I can't see anything there. 127 should work. And add 1. Okay.